And here we go, part two of Local 6 Legal Line with attorneys from the Bryan Law Center, Paducah and Louisville, Kevin Shannon to the far left, Austin Kennedy packed in the middle there, and taking more of your questions at uh, the phone number on your screen. We have someone who says, I was injured in a hit and run, the other driver just took off. And does my insurance uh, have to pay everything for the car, my car damage and my injuries? Well, what, is that the case? Potentially, uh, you know, you're going to look want to look at your own policy just to make sure that you have the proper coverage that uh, handles these sort of accidents, which would be uh, uninsured motorist coverage. Uh, you also want to look to make sure that you have um, what's called, I guess, it's commonly referred to as liability coverage, which is a misnomer. Really, you're looking at to see if you have comprehensive uh, and collision coverage that would cover your vehicle uh, for an accident that wasn't your fault and involved a hit and run driver. Now, your insurance is going to also have uh, an interest in trying to find this this uh, bad guy driver that you know that caused the damage to your car and the injuries. Uh, they they uh, if they pay anything on your um, for your injuries. Uh, or for your property damage, obviously if there's a party that's actually at fault, they want to recover from that party and determine if they have insurance themselves. Uh, so, you know, I would say the first thing is get the policy out, make sure you have uninsured. Uh, more than likely you probably do in Kentucky. You actually have to sign something saying that you do not want it. Uh, so I'd say that, you know, the majority of policies that we see in Kentucky do have uninsured, but I would definitely want to get that policy out in that declarations page and take a look at that and then probably contact, uh, contact a lawyer there. Next question comes from a, an anonymous viewer who says, I was hit by a pizza guy running a red light. He was trying to make a delivery on time. Question is, would I have a case to sue the pizza company? Uh, those are kind of tricky with when it comes to delivery drivers. And it really, one of the factors is, are they driving their own vehicle or are they driving a vehicle that's owned by the, by the actual uh, restaurant? Um, I've come across it a couple times where uh, the insurance of the, or the restaurant uh, will try to deny coverage saying that you know the person was an independent contractor or that they were driving their own vehicle and most of the time it ends up working out to where uh, what you would do is you'd end up filing suit against the driver of the vehicle, uh, the company he works for and potentially any other insurance uh, that you think might be applicable in, 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 the, in the case but those are definitely fact specific. Uh, I would definitely look into it um, and definitely contact a lawyer. I have a question from Melinda who says, I rented a condo in Myrtle Beach and tripped on the sidewalk there and I broke my ankle. But I have a case to sue the owner of that condo for not only my medical expenses, but for ruining my vacation. Uh, I'll take that one. And uh, that was an easy one for us. And the answer is, I don't know. And the reason I say I don't know is uh, not licensed to practice in South Carolina. Um, I know uh, you said you, hap you had this happen in Myrtle Beach, so I don't know what their law is down there. Slip and falls, trip and falls are always difficult type cases. Uh, but if you have any questions, I think you should call a lawyer uh, down in that area as, uh, as soon as you can to, uh, to figure that out. Final question comes from someone who says, I was in an accident in Metropolis. Do I have to get an Illinois attorney or can I get a Paducah attorney to represent me? Uh, it really just depends on the type of case. If it's an injury case, like a car wreck, uh, you know, our office here in Paducah handles cases in, in Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, Tennessee, and other states. Um, if a suit has to be filed, we, you know, we would have to get co-counsel potentially uh, just because you know, we're not licensed in the state of Illinois. Uh, if it's a workers' compensation case, you, you do, do want to get a lawyer in Illinois. A uh, few lawyers, I think, in Kentucky actually do both. They pr pretty much specialize in just Kentucky or Illinois. Uh, and if it's criminal, it kind of goes either way. So uh, it just depends on the type of case you have. But if it's a motor vehicle accident, feel free to call our office, and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to help you with that. And that puts the wraps on our Local 6 legal line for today. Attorneys from the Bryan Law Center, uh, Austin Kennedy, Kevin Shannon, rocking the green ties there on St. Patty's Day. And we thank you for watching.